Greetings, this is Edward Ojambo. Ojambo.com has an article about Guinea templates. The link is ojambo.com forward slash Guinea underscore. Sorry, let me read that again. The link is ojambo.com forward slash Guinea forward blah, 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 Guinea hyphen custom hyphen template. Guinea is a lightweight IDE that can be customized via templates. As a web designer, you will find custom templates handy. This tutorial will create a new file template for Guinea. If you ever need help with computer programming help, you can visit ojamboservices.com. So once again, if you ever need any help, any type of programming for private lessons, tutorials in Toronto area, just visit ojamboservices.com. Okay, let's begin the tutorial. I'm going to open up Guinea. And if you go to File, new with template you will notice that I have a custom template file.css I'm going to create one for the shell scripts it's going to be file.sh so what I'll do is I'll go into a specific guinea folder uh, it's usually in your home in your home uh, folder uh, you, with your username the dot config if you're on Linux Guinea, and then we'll go inside the templates uh, folder, and here you uh, uh, go inside the files folder, and before I do that, I want to show you this uh, template where you can get uh, more templates for Guinea from the website. This is included by default. But we'll go into the files folder and you notice I already have a template there, so I'll create a new file. It's a simple text file. And call this one file.sh. Then I'll open up this file and you have any text at it. Obviously, since we're using Guinea, I'm going to use Guinea. Then I'll just write some comments for what I usually like to see inside all my shell scripts. Just to jumbo.com, a search file. There's a command line, uh, so to comment them out, we we'll just use the pound key or the number sign. And that's it. So I'll save this file. I'll close Guinea. So you so notice it doesn't show up here by default uh, because I reloaded the guinea so all you have to do is you don't need this anymore you can just all file open up guinea when I go to file new template it's there file.sh and you notice automatically it becomes untitled.sh so I can continue editing here this is my simple file template another way is to Go to Tools, Reload Configuration. Okay. Now, Guinea can be used for you using personalized custom templates. In this example, I used uh, for shell uh, file, sh file. If you're in Toronto, visit ojamboservices.com for private tutorials. I hope you find this information useful. The story can be found at ojambo.com. Please visit and leave feedback.